One of the new features of Daimler's Detroit Assurance 5.0 relieves drivers of the stress of managing stop and go traffic. It's called adaptive cruise control down to zero. Using a time-based following distance, it does all the braking and accelerating automatically. All the driver has to do is steer and keep an eye out for lane cutters. Hey YouTube, Equipment Editor Jim Park here. I'm in Portland, Oregon, driving northbound on Interstate 5 in a 2019 Freightliner Cascadia equipped with Detroit Assurance 5.0. Uh, we were driving through traffic at 15 or 20 miles an hour, up to 30 sometimes, back down to 5 or 10. Morning rush hour traffic, it's exactly what you'd expect. Uh, and I didn't have to make any throttle or brake applications at all. The system did it all for me. So we're now down at five miles per hour in heavier traffic here. And obviously this uh, adaptive cruise down to zero is working properly and it feels great. Um, the truck's doing all the accelerating and braking. Uh, obviously I'm watching what's going on, stay on top of it all. We had a situation back there where there was a lane on the right was ending and I had to stop the truck because it was just seeing the space between the car in front of me. Let's see if it does this now. Yeah, okay, there we go. We came to a complete stop. Uh, the brakes held, traffic started to move, and we moved away with it. But as I was saying, when that lane was ending and the cars wanted to come in in front of me, the system was following the car in front of me, which was saying, yeah, there's enough room there. Uh, but it wasn't accounting for the pickup truck that wanted to come in front of me, so obviously I had to apply a little brake to allow uh, that driver to come over. The situation that unfolded there was pretty common. Everybody just loves to get in front of a truck. The camera and radar sensors have limited lateral visibility and they couldn't detect the pickup truck. Clearly the driver still has to keep an eye on changing traffic patterns. To disengage adaptive crews down to zero, all the driver has to do is simply tap the brake pedal. So I put the brake on now manually disengage the system. Uh, the truck is now in my capable hands. Just uh, getting off I-5, going underneath it here and heading back towards Swan Island. And we'll get a debriefing on our test drive. As you saw, adaptive cruise control down to zero can be pretty helpful in busy traffic. We have another video from this trip covering a feature Daimler calls Lane Keep Assist, where the truck actively steers itself to maintain its position in the lane. Check that one out while you're here on the channel. In the meantime, from Portland, Oregon with Daimler's Detroit Assurance 5.0, I'm Equipment Editor Jim Park.